President Bush and will likely reignite a moral debate. The night team's Robin Simmons is live in Miami. She has the details. Robin? The doctor we talked to tonight, very happy to pass the news on to one of his patients here in ICU at JMH who is paralyzed. But at the same time, critics say embryonic stem cell research is not the way to go. They say it has not been proven. It can actually cause tumors. The controversy is nowhere near being over. Within seconds, I went from being a young 14-year-old carefree, very athletic individual to a quadriplegic, uh, paralyzed from the neck down. Sabrina Cohen has spent more than half her life in a wheelchair. A car accident at 14 changed everything. It was just joy, excitement. Um, there were tears in my eyes of happiness. The news giving Sabrina hope. President Obama on Monday will reverse a Bush policy, allowing federal funding for research on embryonic stem cells. A controversial move that raises questions for some about morals and what science really is. Father Alfred Chofi is a Catholic priest and bioethicist. It has nothing to do with religion or faith. A human embryo is a human being, and to obtain embryonic stem cells, one has to kill the human embryo. But this is important. Dr. Barbara Green, co-founder of Miami Project to Cure Paralysis and chair of neurosurgery at JMH, says it's a huge step. Now the doors open and we can really, you know, pick up the pace and get closer to our goal line, which is develop cures for stroke and brain injury and, and for us, the spinal cord injury and paralysis. Father Chofi says the Fed should instead fund adult stem cell research cells we all have in our bodies. Strictly on the science, there is no need to kill human embryos to cure patients. What we have to do is we have to work with adult stem cells. But both Dr. Green and Sabrina Cohen are excited about the promise. The National Institutes of Health already has $10 billion just waiting for research. He really has opened it up and given us a tremendous opportunity to save lives and cure people and conquer disease. All my friends and my peers with spinal cord injuries and people I've met along the way with diabetes and Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, it's just, it's a move in the right direction. Sabrina Cohen actually started her own foundation a couple of years back and she says this does not mean anything is really going to change. She was still going to have to raise money and still going to have to help educate people. As for the Miami Project to Cure Paralysis, they are hoping to get some piece of that $10 billion and get back in the labs for research right away. Reporting from JMH, Robin Simmons, 7 News 19.